girl again, which is a little bit, a little bit creepy. Should he not have a sense of guilt, like the poor man? I murdered him on accident with a love shield. Uh, I didn't know I had. I don't yeah. know if I was fighting for my life. I, I don't think I'd be sad I killed someone. And I don't really think it was an accident because he was all like hands on face. It was on purpose. <laughs> yeah, we discussed that. It. it was not an accident. But it was Voldemort through his face. Yeah, that's true. And I mean, I, I do think it's worth noting, though, that. He didn't know Quirrell as the asshole that we saw in the last chapter for most of a year. He knew right. him as this, like, weak, stuttering Professor Quirrell, which I get that wasn't his actual personality, but there has to be some underlying shit there. Possibly for another time. Yeah, we'll get deeper into Harry's psyche as these books go. No wonder some shit goes down. So, at this point... Harry's sitting there, he's staring into the hedge, and he's thinking about staring into Voldemort's eyes, and all of a sudden he realizes two huge, friggin' green eyes stare back at him. We are brought back to this idea that green eyes are important because they're green, and green is magical, and fucking Harry with his blue eyes is bullshit. There's clearly significance when it's coming up. More than once, I feel you. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I got you. Also, I like green eyes, but I'm just saying it's bullshit. And I'm sure our listeners out there can agree. Green is magic. That's all I have to say about that. But also, the hedge stares back at him, which is creepy. Dudley comes out and he starts screwing with Harry. So Harry says some fake magic words to scare him, and Dudley runs to tell on him. And I... (laughs) I enjoyed this because we get a little bit of sassy Harry again, and then you get a little bit of um, asshole Dudley, and then really fucking petrified Dudley. (laughs) But he's such a narc. Why does he gotta go run and tell mommy? Like, really? Because he's a bitch. Well, that too. What irks me a little bit is the response Petunia has to this (laughs) news of Harry... Performing fake magic to Dudley, and she's, like, coming at him with a frying pan. Yeah, I seriously would have broke into that cupboard and turned that bitch into a frog or something. (laughs) Hit me with a frying pan. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was funny, but also, yeah, child abuse. What kind of CPS shit is going on there? (laughs) Now, they are not investigating. How, how How is... Hogwarts not seeing this? Like, how are they not keeping eyes on this? They're just gonna be okay... With her coming at him with a with a frying pan. They're like, Harry's quick. He can dodge that shit. He is a seeker. Exactly. But he's, he didn't have his broom. That's how he's practicing Quidditch, guys. Oh, we just figured it out. Mm-hmm. It's like a bludger coming at him. There we go. See, he got his practice in. So after Petunia tries to beat Harry with a frying pan, uh, she makes him do a ton of, like, shit around the house like a lot of it not just a couple things here or there not just pulling weeds for a couple hours she makes him like i don't even know i didn't list it all out but it's a lot all day and she won't feed him until he's done and it seems like it's like midday and hot in the summertime and i feel like that's a whole other level of child abuse that we don't even need to really get super deep into but like that's fucked up it's there Mm -hmm. Mm. When's Harry's birthday again? 31st of July. Oh, yeah. So it's definitely hot outside. Yeah, it's like balls hot. Mm, sweaty balls. And I think on top of that, we see another rendition of the Dursleys giving Harry a punishment that doesn't really fit the crime. Absolutely. Hey, Dudley went running in there, whining. Dudley went running in there. Whining about Harry (laughs) giving him a little bit of shit, which brothers do. And I mean, I know that they're not brothers, but they're, I mean, they're cousins, but they're raised as brothers. (laughs) I know they're not brothers, but when you're being raised in this type of situation, you kind of are. Right. And you give each other shit. Even if you're cousins and you're not raised this closely, you give each other shit. And the Dursleys are just big ol' assholes. And even more so... 
by putting on this dinner, making, like, super delicious food and dessert and all this good stuff. And then what does he get? Bread and cheese and water. I do want to mention the pudding up on the fridge just because it's going to come into play later. Oh, yes. We don't know that, but I know that. We all know that. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows. We just know. (laughs) We all know you listeners know. We hope you know. You we don't hope. Know? I don't know. Nate doesn't know. Like I said, I read the books through once, and I just realized while we watched the last movie, I have not watched all the movies. I watched maybe up to three or four, and I didn't watch the last ones at all. <gasps> well, so I'm not kidding when I say that I'm pretty limited. I know the major plot points, okay? I know who kills who pretty much, but these little nuanced things in the book that happen, I forgot a lot of them, like all of them. (laughs) Well, I'm super excited for you to find out why the pudding is important in the next chapter. Cool. I like pudding. Shh. Nobody tell Nate. (laughs) I like pudding too. Do you have an idea of like what it would taste like? As it's described, like, is this, like, a fruity thing? Is it, like, chocolate or vanilla? Like, what are you getting from this? No, I don't think they go into depth in this chapter about it, but it's not It's not what I thought pudding was. No. I like chocolate pudding. Butterscotch. Mm. Mm-hmm. Chocolate. I'll bet it's something like tapioca. Ew! <gasps> right, but wouldn't she make that? Yeah, Petunia I mean, probably would. <laughs> See the reaction you both had? Yeah, that's a Dursley thing. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that's a dirty thing, and also yes. <laughs> if you like tapioca pudding, let us know, and I will apologize. <laughs> yeah, if it means that much to any one of you, just send us a quick message, and we'll say we're sorry. But... but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need to go really into this anymore, but we love hearing from you listeners. So if you have a favorite pudding or if you have an idea of the way you think this dish tasted or the way you think it should, please let us know. We just love to hear your feedback and your comments, and it just helps to let us know that you're listening to us. Last point of this chapter, and then we will get into our socials so everyone knows exactly how they can get a hold of us. Harry is sent up to his room after he eats his pitiful dinner of cheese and bread, which, I mean, I like cheese and I like bread, but you need some meat real quick. That's all I have to say. That's bullshit. All right. Give me some salami or some something. They could have grilled it. Grilled cheese? Come on. Yeah, I was going to say, you can make a grilled cheese happen, but I get the feeling that it was just cold bread and cold cheese. Right. (laughs) Cheese sandwich. Not even a charcuterie board. Is that how you say that? I think I said it right. A what? A meat and cheese board with some bread on it. They have, like, it's a fancy... It's fancy shit. Yeah. I'm good with meats and cheeses. Yeah. Everybody's good with with a curry board. I think I said that right. crackers on there? If I said it... It sounds like you're saying it right. I'm gonna go with you on it. Yeah. If I slaughtered it again. Sorry. I'm not perfect. How do you think you say it? Chicory? Say the whole thing. Chicory board? Like chicory, but... It's not spelled how I'm saying it, but oh. it's like, it said fancier than it's spelled, huh. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. It's like charcuterie. That's how it's spelled, but you say it fancier. <laughs> I sounded it out. That's phonics, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we've got <laughs> dinner guests knocking on the door, right? Sending Harry on up. Yeah, they send him up to his room and he opens his door and there's already somebody on his bed. Somebody broke in this bitch. Dun, dun, dun. That's the end of the chapter. We don't even know anything about him. Yeah, they kind of leave it at a cliffhanger. Yeah. It's a demon on his bed. It's the demon from earlier. That's right. (laughs) Somebody accidentally conjured him while reading this book. Assholes. Ah, stop reading. It's those fake spells he was doing. I mean, come on. One of them was bound to be real. Just kidding. Don't stop reading. Keep reading and listening. That's we absolutely love you. right. <laughs> <laughs> and do what I do with the kids at home and cast the spells with your wands all you want. 
So this chapter was, I mean, I think we pulled a lot more out of it than I thought we were going to. It was a pretty simple chapter. It was basically a recap and mentioning that the Dursleys are assholes and somebody broke in. But we did some fun stuff with it, I think. Yeah, I think we went a couple places that we weren't planning on going, but it's all for the better. So, if you want to let us know how you feel about this chapter, if there was something we missed, something I said wrong, <laughs> um, go ahead and get a hold of us. There are plenty of ways to do it. That's right. If you guys want to send us an email, you can. Just send one to podcastatt at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook by searching All The Things or at Podcast ATT. That also works for Instagram. You can just search at Podcast ATT. Twitter is the only different one. That one's Podcast underscore ATT. I mean, I did my best. Damn it. It's a thing. <laughs> for shame. <laughs> But we'd love to hear from you on any of those. Oh, also, you can find us on Patreon. That's also at Podcast ATT, because we got that one. If you are interested in fantasy series and or if you've already read the Sword of Truth series by Terry Goodkind, go ahead and join us over on All the Things Sword of Truth. We are having lots of fun over there. Pretty soon, we're probably going to have a giveaway. Because giveaways are fun. Everyone likes free shit, right? Can I have some free shit? Yeah, I love free shit. So tune in and you could win some free shit. Free is my favorite four letter F word. It's not mine. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Everyone knows. But we would love to have you guys join us back next week, no matter what. That's right. Hey, we'll see you guys real soon. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for listening. Have a good one.